So if you like RGB, you've probably seen adaptive lighting kits. These are kits that you can attach to the back of a screen like a TV or a monitor, and the lights will react to match what's on the screen to give you a more immersive viewing experience. There's two main ways of achieving this effect. One is through use of an HDMI sync box like this one from Philips Hue. And the other is via a camera that you attach to the top of your screen like this kit from Govee. The first method takes an HDMI signal in, directly reads the image and grabs the color information, then feeds that HDMI HDMI signal out to your TV or monitor. The second method uses a camera to monitor what colors are being displayed on the screen in real time and processes the information to match the colors. They finally put a name to their implementation of this technology and it's called Gobi in Visual. Now, if you're looking for the best possible effect with near perfect accuracy and zero latency, the HDMI sync box kit from Philips Hue will not disappoint. It actually outperforms basically everything that we've tried. However, you need several components to make it work, which gets very expensive and the catch is it doesn't work with every type of content. So for example, if you have a smart TV with apps built into it, it's not going to work since there's no way to output the HDMI signal from the TV into the sync box, which in 2022, I feel like already renders itself kind of useless. Also due to DRM protection that the sync box won't be able to read this image from the services like Netflix and Disney plus. So compatibility is definitely an issue with these HDMI based systems. The main benefit of a camera system is that they're a lot cheaper. They work with everything any display and any content. Now the downside is they're not as accurate or low latency as the sync box method, but the performance gap has been shrinking since Gobi have been perfecting their camera based system over the last few years. They're calling it the world's leading camera color technology, but is it? Let's take a look and find out. In terms of what makes Gobi's system different, they are the first brand to combine AI and color sensing technology together, along with zone division to deliver the best camera based experience. How it basically works is it splits the screen up into 12 different different zones. It uses algorithms to identify the type of content and then automatically adjusts the priority logic of the color zones to determine the best colors to map to their corresponding light strip segments. So whereas the hue based system would try for 100% accuracy to make sure the edges of the screen always match the backlights exactly, Gofi system instead uses AI to recognize if you're playing a first person shooter game, a racing game, or watching a movie and tries to adjust the backlights to complement that specific scene. Now on paper, that sounds great, but does it actually work? To test this, we recorded several different scenes. We have the Philips Hue HDMI sync box, the Govi camera based system, as well as a, another lesser known brand using a similar camera type system. And we checked them all out and here are the results. So kicking it off with the Hue system, you can see how responsive and fluid the overall effect is with both accurate colors and very nice color blending. The next one is a cheap generic camera based system we found on Amazon. The reactions are much slower and look quite choppy with not much blending going on. Moving on to Govi's kit, you can can see we get a very similar level of accuracy and responsiveness as we did with the Hue HDMI system. Great color blending and an excellent overall effect. Moving on to a different scene, this one goes to show how accurate HDMI based systems can be. There's no guessing going on. It's literally taking the pixels of the source signal and mapping the colors to the backlights. The cheapo camera kit, I'm not even going to show any more after this, is honestly just really bad. The colors are really inaccurate and instead of complementing the scene, it's just a huge distraction. Govi's camera does a slightly better job here, but lacks the color accuracy of an HDMI based system when it comes to scenes containing lots of different colors. Although in most situations, it gets pretty close. This next one is kind of interesting. Again, the Hue kit manages 100% color accuracy and you can see it picks up the whites and displays them accordingly. But in this instance, I actually prefer the way the Gobi kit interprets the scene. It picks more of a blue hue to go with the ice and snow and overall just feels more appropriate and better on the eyes. I'm gonna let the rest of the scenes play out for you guys so you can judge for yourself. I'll see you back in the studio.
summarize, if you want the best results possible and you don't care how much it costs, the Hussein kit is hard to beat. The color accuracy and responsiveness is absolutely flawless and beautiful, but if you want a much cheaper option that has the best compatibility with all devices and content, either the Immersion Kit or G1 Pro Kit from Govi are a great option. Govi's Invisual Technology currently makes it the best camera-based system out there, but there are some cons. There are still a slight latency, which might bother some people, and you also still have a camera that you have to put on top of your monitor or your TV, and I know some people might not like that. But what do you guys think? Do you think the performance of the Govi camera system is good enough to outweigh the negative of the HDMI-based system from Philips Hue? Drop a comment down below and let us know. I'm actually quite curious about that. Now, if you want to check out any other products mentioned in today's videos, all the links will be down below in the description. And as always, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, and we will catch you in the next one.